Hi everyone, welcome back to Nettie's Down Under. Today, I'm not feeling myself today, so what I decided to do is to cheer myself up, is to come out and pot around in my pots, because I'm, I'm renting a place and when you're renting, you cannot put things in their garden, because if I did, I won't be able to take them into my next place if I move out. So, what I did over the weekend, I went to my local nursery called Bunnings, now that nursery section of Bunnings is really good and really naughty. And the reason why I say it's really naughty is because they have a section in Bunnings where they got their plants that are not looking 100% well for, for sale. For, a, for example, I'll show you, um, this lavender bush was really sick. The flowers, none. The leaves were going droopy and they look like it. they need to be re some new fertilising and a lot of watering and tender care and just a bit of clip clip here or just to get the, the brown leaves branches off as well and leaves. So what I have done today is I went into the shed and dragged up two bags of soil. The soil I get is called all-purpose soil and it is from Bunnings. The soil is only two ninety five for a 25 litre bag, which is really cheap. The only thing I got myself when I was there is I got myself some rhubarb. So um, it says easy to grow, but then it says on the back it takes 12 months before you can eat it, which is okay. And the other one I found was for a dollar or two, I think, was this little plant. So that was all right. Now, for the lavender, being so cheap, it was only $3. Normally, you pay a lot more for lavender. So, what I do when I repot plants, first of all, you need... I need to get the, get the really expensive, expensive stuff for fertilising. You just go and get some cheap stuff. All purpose. You can use it for veggies and everything. You don't need just one for this, one for this, one for that. So what I normally do is that I half fill my pot, two scoops of fertiliser. Then I put the plant straight onto the fertiliser and see, I do not disturb the roots because the roots in this lavender bush were already clumped up together. So what I do is let it go. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I said to myself, it will grow. But it will because what I'll do, even though the plant's already wet, I will just lightly water the soil so that it gives that a little bit extra time for the fertiliser to be wet. And then it will just start expanding. Now, what I normally do before I start putting new stuff into old pots, uh, I'll, I'll just show you what size I've got. Okay. I have medium sized ones. So what I normally do is I wash them. Because you just get a hose and just hose out all the muckers around. The reason why I do that for, it does not terminate the next lot of plants I want to put in. So um, I do that. Now you're, you're wondering, Nanette, where are you getting all your pots from? Do you know, I'm going to admit this, um, when, when Frank was alive, Franco and I were mad plant potters. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll just go to all like, um, there's another nursery called Piz Nursery. This one in Auburn, this one in Wodonga. And we used to go down to the back of the, their shop, right, and we used to bring home plants same idea same reason very very cheap you may end up walking up down there and you might find one of the gardeners says oh you picking up all these cheap ones oh yeah we are they normally just chuck in one or two for free which is nice of them to do so from all that we collected i kept all their pots so it's a good it's a good idea to keep them and one of the places we did have we had pots was going around and we had them going down the long back fence and up the stairs and uh, they were everywhere pots were everywhere 
and we used to risk trying to start up a lot of our own plates as well and Frank was a green thumb honestly so what I have brought Frank and it's going to go into I'm going to call it Frank's garden is I brought and I'll show you let me take my glove off a minute just walk all over here Daisy that goes this is a, a Daphne. They come in variety of colours, white or, or yellow or pink. I think it's the other colour, not too sure. Now, if you suffer with bad, bad hay fever like I do, and I don't let it get to me, Daphne's have got a very, very strong perfume to them. Now, what will happen eventually? get out of it is this Daphne will have to be transferred again into a, a bigger bigger pot because at the moment it's doing really well it's got a lot of new shoots coming through and I did the same thing again washed the pot got my potting mix put all two scoops of fertilizer the plant went in and out and I did not disturb the roots and I'm not kidding, it's growing. The only thing I have got problems with, it's got a bit of brown here, and that's called from the sun. Now, the other plant I do get is a baronia. Okay, baronia do have very strong perfume smell as well. So the baronia, it was root bound as well, repotted and remixed it and everything else. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to redo the rhubarb and I wouldn't be all surprised this rhubarb plant is going to be root bound so I'll pop that out of the way and I go myself what size pot should I use not too small too small too small beautiful I'm going to use this size because what will happen it gives this time to, to expand and I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do, I want to check out, see if this one's root bound as well. So what I normally do is I press the side and I, I'm hoping it loosens it. And then I grab my fingers, this is what I do, okay, in between, oh, I'll give it in between the plant here to support it. Then I turn it upside down and hopefully, see how I've got it supported? Hopefully, it's not ripped down. But I'm going to show you here, it's starting to go root down. So, um, now the roots are getting a little bit bigger, it definitely needs to be in this size pot. I'll be back and I'll show you my next step with the rhubarb. Okay, my next step is, remember I said it's an all-purpose fertilizer, and see here, it's got a tomato, it's got a plant. So really, I can use this too, on my rhubarb. And that will help it to keep going. Now, the next thing I need to do is grab my rhubarb. And remember how I, I showed you that this um, one was, sorry, was root bound? Um, at the moment, I need to get a little bit more because it's not going to be high enough yet. But I, I just noticed um, there's a new sheet popping through there. So what I'm going to do, I need to keep going. I'll put some more dirt into this one. And then after I finish doing this, I want to show you something else that I have done for my plants okay that's all done that's the rhubarb all done um oh, this is my other spoon there my other shovel there I, I have two of these ones are good ones are bad so I'm just all I do now is I I just scrape around it make sure that everything looks level make sure the plant is being pushed down a bit and um, you say yourself, pardon me, 
Heavenly Father, please bless this plant and make grow. Oh no, it sounds silly, but I do things like that. I've got one more thing I do wish to show you, and you're going to be quite surprised about this idea. And I, I actually thought of it off for myself. Radio back. Now, we all know how expensive hanging plants can get when you first start off. It's not cheap. Um, you know how you need to get the inserts, right? I went and priced them. I said to myself, oh, no, nah, not going to buy them. And um, what I did do, I went back into the shed and I went back and got the bag from the budgie seed that I kept. And I'm not joking, i show you something. Look at that. I'm going to show you the other bit. Look at the plant. It's growing. Who said you need those inserts for, for um, hanging pots? You can use anything. It can hold the water. All you just need to do is to stop that moist, keep the water not escaping. You just put little holes in the bottom of it right to let it drain because if you don't put little um holes in it you'll flood the poor plant okay so what i normally do is i grab my little friendly stanley knife and i just poke a little hole i'll, I'll give you a better little I'll show you again, right? Which is good there. You don't really need that much, as long as you can, can you can see what you're doing, okay? So a little hole there, another one there, another one there. So all you just do, right, in each wiring gap, just put holes in it. And honestly, how simple is this? This is a money saver. Now, you're saying yourself again, Nanette, what you put in here? I've got these little things. These are, these are like little plants. Um, I'll just show you a little bit better. I've got these. And a few weeks ago, it was taken over another big pot I put it into. I split them. And they're regrowing again. And all I did, I cut the edge off. I'll, ju I'll just get a little piece for you and show you. All I did, I cut a little edge off of the um, the plant, popped it back into the dirt. Make sure you got this green bit sticking up. Keep it nice and moist and water. What do you got? More plant. You can do it to any of them. Um. Elephant is you can just get there and if they're in a clunk and you want to transfer it from um, pot to pot and before you do it right make sure that you can, you can find where the line is and the roots and pull them apart mm -hmm. more plants I've been self teaching myself all this and I'm, I'm quite pleased with the way it's all looking I'll show you. I'll show you one. Another, another one. All right. I'll just get, where, where are we? Over here. I don't know if you can see it or not. See this? This plant here. It only started off with a leaf. Pop this leaf into the um the dirt into a, a very tiny starting pot, which is like this. Once you keep, you don't throw them out. Within a month. You got more. Why do you need to go and buy more new plants? That might not show you. Yes, it's an evergreen, but it's a good idea to have it hanging into a hanging pot. And I did have one, and one of my friends wanted it, and she paid me money for it, which was lovely of them to do. And when it starts growing, it just drops and drops and drops and drops. But the good thing is, I can't remember, did it flower or not? I think it did flower. 
and I was really wrapped about it. Now the other thing I do want to sort out, split and everything else, is this. I'll just take this over and I'll show you what I'd love to do, but I can't do it though. I want to separate this one because see how the, um, the elephant ears are growing and then I've got ferns with it as well. So what will happen is this elephant ear plant will eventually will take over and the ferns will struggle to grow. I really will. I really don't want that. No, no, not whatsoever. So um, the other thing is really handy to regrow again. And I'll show you the, the little secret to it, how to get that one going. Um, here in Australia, we call these spider plants. I don't know what about overseas. So what I normally do is grab one of these shoots. I'll just give you a quick demo what I mean. Right. Grab one. Let's see if I can pull one off. Hang on for now. Yep. Now, that's reminding me what I've done. So on this one, okay, I'll take you back to the way I was. Hang on for a minute. I need to get a little pot so I can reach it to it again. Yeah, I've got, I've got little pots everywhere. Yep, there we go. Yeah, this one will do. There's my little pot. I know they're all clean because I washed them before I stacked them. I'm going to show you what, how quick, easy this is to do as well. Right, so from that little farm plant I just pulled off, which we call spider plants, is that on here, on the back, they've got little shoots already coming through. So what I'll do, I'll just get, with my little, oh there it is, just get my little bit of dirt. This one won't take much to do. About two scoops. Yeah, about two. Yeah. Right, so that's about two scoops. Teaspoon of fertilizer. So that can help the, the new shoots, the reshoot. Alright. Back down I go. What I'm gonna do is gonna put a little bit more soil, lovely soil back on it again. Oopsie, don't go in over there, then. Good girl. Right here. Yeah. That soil's done. I'll just pop it up there for a minute. Give that a bit of a shake. Then, with this one, this part of the spider plant, is I'll pop it into here. Just as so. Give it a bit of a find out, find my spoon, a little shovel, take down a little bit more, put a bit of that dirt around it. That's all to it. Now, now, if you went to a warehouse or a nursery to buy them, you know what? You'll be charged at least between five to ten bucks for it. At least. Why should I need to do that when I can do it myself? I'm going to leave that in there. I'm gonna let it grow. I don't mind these things because um, I'm just gonna have to get some more hanging pots without its inserts, of course. Keep keep my hash and bags and stuff like that from my birds. Um, for your pottery bags, don't put them into the recycling bin. You can't do it. It's a no-no here. Just put them in the normal bin. Um. I really appreciate you watching me trying to show you my way of doing a bit of potting. I find out that um, by doing a bit of potting, it does help um, my depression because it's really calming and it gives me time to do something as well. Um, the ones I tried to re-save from the last pots, I really lost two out of four that I brought cheaply as well so uh, I'm really wrapped 
I'm going to keep this um, potting garden going. And um, at the end, what I'm going to try to do as well is I want to make a little section. Um, and I'm going to have a little bit of a memorial spot here for Frank. Uh, I just need to wait to the rose bush over there to finish. Palm blooming. And then I've got a big pot ready to go to put it into there. And then I'm going to grab a little, I've got a little um, container in there. And I'm going to pop some of Frank's ashes into that. And there comes Frank's little memorial pot for him for his roses. Okay, I've been back down. I'm, I'm going to give you an update what's been going on down at the cemetery as well. I've been back down to the Oakland Cemetery. It's looking really pretty, guys. I'm not kidding. It's very, very pretty. I've got two little angels down there as well. Um, Sunday I went back down and I put a Christmas, three Christmas balls down on these, um, around, around the flowers down there, and a Christmas lot. Because Frank always loved Christmas. Anyway, I'm going to have to pop you off soon. Got a few more things I need to do. Oh, yeah. Um, I've been just checked up on the bait my babies my birds and i was wondering why ma was sitting in her nest again so when she jumped out i could just quickly grab and i found out there were three babies in it fingers crossed this time i get something from her just want to say um thank you to everyone for watching please leave a comment describe share with your friends and i'll catch you next time bye